Hello there. This is John Henry Sheridan with another installment of my Thoughtful Pause series. I am a fellow human being on planet Earth at this time, uh, just trying to make sense of it all and enjoy my time here. So I like to make some offerings as to, uh, you know, deeper, more settling thoughts to be an alternative to uh, fiery or overly stimulating videos and media that might be out there these days. So my <clears throat> offering today is be kind. Be kind. Too simple? No, not too simple. Because we forget it. We do. I know I certainly do. Um, so, what I mean by be kind is twofold. Or, could probably go on and on, but the main two. Yeah. It's, let's say, threefold. Twofold is be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I'll throw a third one in there, which is be kind to the earth and all her creatures, right? So be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be kind to the whole earth and all her creatures. Or you could think self, others, environment. And you could divide it up. The main thing is self or inside and outside. Be kind to inside, be kind to outside. Let's say self and others for now. <clears throat> so let's start with self because that's the one we kind of forget about. Uh, who is we? We is maybe the average human who's tuned into this uh, hyper-connected world of electronics and high-speed technology. Right? It's easy to forget that we, <clears throat> um, we owe it to ourselves to be kind. How might that look? You know, it's hard to like think, oh yeah, I'm just going to say nice things to myself. John, you're such a nice guy. <laughs> Maybe there's a time and place for that, but what I mean by be kind to yourself, how it looks to me is, okay, for example, this is the second take of the video, this video I'm doing. I usually don't do multiple takes unless I'm just not, really just not getting a good vibe going, and then... I catch myself and I say, let me just start over. Or if I get convoluted, which I am want to do, W-O-N-T. Um, I just did a take that wasn't so good. And then I got frustrated. And I stopped and deleted it and restarted the camera. And instead of carrying a slightly disappointed or negative feeling into the video that I'm about to do, I just smiled and laughed because I, uh, these things happen. What do you, what can you do? Right? So be kind to yourself when you mess up, when you make a mistake, be kind to yourself when you forget something, when you don't live up to your expectations, when you, uh, fall short of your vision, um, when the results are not what you might have hoped they're going to be. Um, and not only be kind, but in that kindness, you, we could also learn that we could be perhaps, depending on your personality type, perhaps a bit easier on ourselves. Some personality types maybe are too easy on themselves, so maybe there's a time and a place where uh, it's best to be more strict with yourself, but... For some people, like myself, my tendency is to be hard on myself or too hard on myself so that some of the joy that I bring to the table is compromised by my strong uh, <laughs> my strong nature. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so yeah, for me, being kind to myself is very important because when I do that, then I open up this portal of an option that's very crucial, which is step two, 
which is to be kind to others. Someone shows up in my life not acting the way I want them to act, not making me feel great, I could say, all right, or just making me feel either uncomfortable or a little different or strange or just not really the way I want to feel. Um, not, no one makes you feel anything, but is, let's say, influencing you <laughs> to react or feel a certain way. I could say, wow, maybe they're, uh, they need some kindness. And I can be kind to somebody by being quiet. I don't mean by passively accepting nasty behavior. But if it's not nasty, if it's just confused or lost, I can allow a person to be confused and lost. I can allow a person just to be grumpy. I can allow a person to be um, talkative. There's many things I can allow without compromising my own um, peace by simply me being kind. Okay, you need to... Um, you need to vent, go ahead. I'm not going to take it personally. And then when the venting's over, I don't have to offer a suggestion. I don't have to give someone advice. That's being kind too, to say, you know what? Unless someone specifically asks for it, I don't have to give someone advice. And that might be one of the kindest things I ever do, is just listen. Then when they're done, just move on without making a big deal out of something. And allowing them to speak without shoving things back in their face. There's many ways this could take place. This is just, just what comes to mind. Uh, being kind to others can also be giving people space. Can also be praying for them when you don't know how to deal with them. Uh, being kind to others can also mean, okay, I don't know how to be kind to this person, so how can I be even kinder to me? Okay, get myself out of this environment. If you could do that, good. Okay, go do something for me that I want to do. Uh, take a walk in nature or go read a book or calm down. Don't do anything. You don't have to fix something right now. Just do something nice for yourself so you feel better. Then your energy will flow more naturally, more favorably, more generously to others when you're being generous to yourself. I don't mean uh, overstretching your credit card generous. I just mean allowing yourself to just chill out and do things that make you feel good more often. Really, like genuinely good. Uh, so, and then being kind to the environment. Why would you be kind to the environment? Because we are all interconnected. Now, if you don't believe it, fine. Peace, brother. Uh, I believe it on a spiritual level, just in knowing. Um, but the science is, you know, is beginning to clearly point to that we're all interconnected. Uh, I forgot the specific fields of science that, that say that. Um, certainly uh, quantum physics points to that. So, <clears throat> um, just be kind. Okay, so then to the environment, why, why, why am I going to hurt my animal friends? Why am I going to hurt, why am I going to kill my animal friends? They, you know, here's something controversial, you ready? When I see an ant in my house or an army of ants, my instinct is not to kill them. I know. I'm a, re I'm a rebel. I try to save them, and I don't always succeed at saving all of them. I, it's very tricky, but I did come up with some ways that without using sprays or anything like that, I could at least save some of them. Um, because why did they not have a right to be here? Why do I have a right to be where I am? You know, you could say money or property or whatever, but again, where does that come from? You know, why doesn't an ant deserve to live in my house? I, I can't come up with a, a genuinely good reason why not. 
So that's why I can't be upset at them. I could say, hey, Aunt, please get out of here. You're kind of in the way. And um, can you go outside or, or at least go behind the wall where I can't see? <laughs> but you could be kind. You meaning me, meaning all of us. We could be kind to our environment. We could be kind to uh, uh, someone who's beeping, to, beeping behind us because we can realize they're beeping their horn when we're driving. Maybe they are kind of out of their mind right now with stress or who knows what kind of day somebody has had if they're rude to you in the store or online or whatever. People might be going through some crazy stuff that we can't imagine. Because when you feel good, when people feel all right and at peace, they're not, they're not unkind. When you feel content and at peace and loving, embraced, accepted, seen, supported, you want to spread that. You don't want to ruin things for others. So when someone's acting unconsciously and nasty, or they don't feel loved, supported, and seen. So we can be kind to them by at least not reflecting back their nasty energy. Not absorbing it ourselves, but letting it pass by us, pass through us, not take it personally, transforming it into something, maybe make a good poem about it, or a song, I don't know, funny skit, without, you know, hurting people with our sense of humor. Be kind. It, it, is, it doesn't hurt. Now, don't, don't allow yourself to be stepped on. I'm not saying that. But there's a fine line, you know. Is that what I want to say? No. There's a lot of opportunity for us to be kind, which can shift the energy of our, cell, of our own life and our environment and the people around us. Where we're not even, where we're not allowing ourselves to be taken advantage of, we're just simply allowing kindness to pave the way or to be the standard. As my friend, who I never met, but uh, I love listening to, Infinite Waters says, "Let love guide you, not fear." That's all for today. Till next time. Take care. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself, to others, and to your environment. Ciao.